today I am going to go over the enumeration of bacteria lab, um, especially the math part. Um, some um, may have had trouble with it, and I think it's mostly recognizing what the numbers mean, so we're going to go over that in detail. <clears throat> so first of all, there's a procedure that you were provided with. On the second page of that procedure, there is a, an illustration of the actual procedure. So this goes through in detail what the procedure is, but I want to actually explain just in general what it is, so, that you, so you make sure you understand that. So why are you doing this procedure? Well, you have an original inoculum, meaning uh, the original culture of E. coli in this instance. And what you want to know is how many E. coli cells there are per mil in that culture. Okay, and that would be important. This procedure is used uh, in a lot of applications. Okay, for instance, uh, water quality uh, or uh, food quality. Okay, they're determining how many colony forming units per mil or per gram uh, there is in a sample. Okay, so th this is a very important procedure. So we have this original, in this particular case, original culture of E. coli. We want to know how many CFUs, colony forming units, there are per mil. So what we're going to do is create this dilution through these five tubes. Okay, for each tube, it's getting diluted more. Okay, so there's less and less E. coli cells in each tube. And the idea is that at one point, or maybe a couple points in here, these tubes will be diluted enough, there will be so few cells in there in comparison to the saline that's in the tube, okay, it's diluted to the point where when you put it on an auger plate, it'll grow up into individual isolated colonies. And remember, an isolated colony is formed by one cell. So you then can count the number of cells that are on that plate, okay, and figure out the dilution factor of that plate and multiply them and come up with the number in the original culture. Okay, so that's, in a nutshell, what this is about. But the numbers can be confusing. So what I want to do is go over one tube in detail, okay, and then you should be able to figure out how it pertains to other tubes. But for now, we're going to go over tube number two, okay? So tube number two, you'll see at the top, it tells you what the tube dilution is. Okay, so the tube dilution is 10 to the negative 4. Okay, so in tube number 2, it's been diluted to the point where the dilution is 10 to the negative 4. Okay, so you had your original E. coli culture. You transferred a tenth of a mil into tube 1, okay, to dilute it. And then you transferred a tenth of a mil into tube 2 to dilute it again. So the tube dilution by this point is 10 to the negative 4. So what does that mean? All right, so 10 to the negative fourth is actually a short form of scientific notation. So this might look more familiar. 1.0 times 10 to the negative fourth. Okay, so that's what it is written now. Okay, so how can you take this number and make it something that you recognize as a dilution? Because you still don't recognize a dilution. A dilution to, you, to somebody should be like 1 in 10, okay? One in a hundred. Okay, so what does this mean? Okay, well that means you take this decimal place and you go one, two, three, four. And you fill it in with zeros. Okay, it's a negative number, so it's less than one, so you're going to the left. So this is actually zero, 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 one. So what does that equal as a fraction? Okay, so that would help you, right? If you knew what the fraction was, 1 in 10, 1 in 100, then you know how much it's diluted by. So convert this to a fraction. Okay, so there's a lot of zeros there. So start from the easiest one you know, okay? And go ahead and figure it out so that it makes sense to you. Okay, let's start with, I'm going to write too far up here, point 0.1. What does that equal as a fraction? Well, we know that's 1 tenth, right? So it equals one tenth. Okay, so go a step further and add a zero. What does this equal in a fraction? It equals one in a hundred. Okay? Okay. Add another zero. What does that equal? Well, it equals one in a thousand. 
So if you add another zero, what does it equal? Well, it equals 1 in 10,000. So there you go. That's how much it's diluted by. It's been diluted by 10,000. Okay, so a 10 in the negative fourth solution is 2. Right now, those cells have been diluted by 10,000 from the original culture. Okay, so that makes it a little easier, hopefully. Okay, so that is your 2 dilution. That, however, is not the number that you need to calculate your final CF use per mil. So let's continue on with this illustration. Okay? Okay, so your 2 dilution is 10 to the negative 4. But you play it a tenth of a mil. Now this can be a little confusing, but the reason to do this is because you have to put this liquid on the sur surface of an auger plate, and a tenth of a mil will spread out nicely on the auger surface. But if you put a whole mil on there, it will not. Okay, so this procedure calls for a tenth of a mil. However, when you plate only a tenth of a mil, since, remember, CFUs, are reported in whole mills, you also have to take that into account when you're converting this, okay? So, since you plated a tenth of a mill, you have diluted it again by 10. Okay, so what does that mean? Okay, that means it went from a 10 to the negative fourth to a 10 to the negative fifth because you only plated a tenth of a mill, okay? This is your final dilution. This is the plate dilution. Okay, those are equivalent. If you see them written in a calculation or a Word document or, excuse me, a problem, okay, a plate dilution is also a final dilution because you're counting the colonies on that plate. So that is the final dilution. Okay, plate dilution, final dilution. This is the number you need to figure out. This is the fraction you want to figure out, okay? So, let's go back and do that one again, just so that you can follow through. So now we have 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so now we've got four zeros. Okay, and remember, we did it step by step down here, and we figured out that the point zero 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 one equals ten thousand. Okay, so now we've got point zero 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 one. So what does that equal? Well, ten times that. So it is one in a hundred thousand. Okay, so this is your final dilution, okay? On that plate, it has been diluted one in 100,000. Okay, so in the assignment, you would have seen, okay, the first three columns are filled in for you, the plate number, okay? We are looking at plate number one here, because we did two number two, okay? So this is plate one. Okay, so plate one, you, you were given the two dilution, 10 to the negative fourth. It tells you you plated 0.1 mils. Then it asks you what the final dilution was. This is the final dilution, okay? That is the final dilution, that is the plate dilution, okay? Then, the next thing it asks you is the number of colonies. So you would count the colonies and put them in there. Okay, so we'll go over that in a minute, and then you would figure out your CFUs per mil. But for now, I would like to make sure that you understand this, which you can't answer me, but I'm hoping I have gone through this in enough detail that you understand it, okay? So, I'm going to go on to countable plates, and okay, we'll do with that.
three colonies. Okay, that could be one plate, that could be two plates, that could be all four, just depending on how many cells were in the original culture and how much you diluted up. Okay, so in this particular instance, plates one and two had too many to count or too numerous to count, which means they were greater than 300. So in those spaces, you put either TMTC or TMTC, too numerous to count or too many to count. Okay, you have to put that in those spaces. Never put NA. That isn't telling me anything. Not applicable? Well, it is applicable because there's too many to count. There's colonies out there. Okay, so this is wrong. I'll never do that. Okay, and don't leave a blank space. That just tells me you don't know what to put in it. Okay? Write an answer on that. Okay, so plates one and two were not countable. There were too many to count. Plate three was countable. We'll go over that in detail in a minute. Plate four had less than 30. Okay, so that is too few to count. Okay. All right, so plate three was the only countable plate. Okay, so plate three, okay, you had a 10 to the negative sixth. Zeros. Okay, one billion. 
$190 million. Okay? It's easier to write it than to read a number like that. Okay, so that is your CF in per mil. In that original E. coli culture. Okay, so you have figured it out. What you did is you figured out the final dilution. Okay, and you figured out what that final dilution means. Okay, it means one and ten million. So what do you have to multiply the colonies by? Ten million. Okay, one nineteen times ten million equals one billion one hundred ninety million CFUs per mil. Okay, so hopefully that helps just a little bit. Okay, so before this video gets really too long, you don't want to watch it anymore. I'm going to quickly go through a couple other problems. Okay, before I go through some other problems, I want to show you um, because this is a real easy problem that you will see on quizzes and exams, and I don't want you to get confused by it. Some questions might just ask you what the final dilution is of a two, okay, or of a plate. So if it says um, you plated point one mil of a ten in the negative six two dilution. Okay, so this is a simple, simple one. This isn't giving you a number of colonies or anything. And when I'm writing multiple choice questions, sometimes this is what I'm limited to, okay? So say you played a tenth of a mil of a ten to the negative six two dilution. Okay, it's going to ask you what is what is the final dilution? Okay? So this is easy. Right? Just go back to the illustration. You got your two. Okay, it's telling you that the two dilution is 10 to the negative 6. Okay, it's telling you that you played it a tenth of a mil just like you have been. And it's asking you what the final dilution is. Okay, what the plate dilution is. Remember, those are the same. It's the final dilution, not the plate. Okay, so what is it? Two dilutions 10 to the negative 6, you dilute it again by 10 because you only played a tenth of a mil. Your final dilution is 10 to the negative 7. Okay? So that's the type of problem you would see. Okay, now we're going to go on to the problems that you had in your assignment that actually had numbers of colonies in them. So it's 630,000, okay? 
CFDs per month, 630,000. So, and the negative third, two pollution, we played 0.1 mils, final pollution is 10 to the negative fourth, which is equal to one in 10,000 pollution, 63 colonies times 10,000 is 630,000. Okay? All right, now questions two had only 27 counties, so that was too few to count, and that's all you have to put down. Don't calculate anything. Okay, too few to count. <clears throat> Number three had 345. That is too numerous or too many to count, so all you do is put down TMTC or TMTC. That's it. Okay, so let's go on to number four. make the illustration? Make the illustration. Okay, so this one says we have 100 microliters. Okay, a little tricky, right? Not really. We should know what 100 microliters is by now. 100 microliters equals a tenth of a mil. So it's actually the same thing, okay? 100 microliters equals a tenth of a mil. So this is actually the same type of problem. You just need to know how to do the conversion. All right, so we plated 100 microliters of the 10 to the negative fourth to two dilution. Okay, so we know that that is a 10 to the negative fourth up there. Okay, it's the two dilution. We know that we plated 100 microliters, which is also equal to a tenth of a mil. Okay, so we have to figure out final dilution. 10 to the negative fifth. Okay, and then we have. 88 colonies. So you have to figure out what to dilute it by. And what is a 10 to the negative fifth dilution? One, two, three, four, five. One in a hundred thousand. Okay, so you take 88 times one hundred thousand. Eight million eight hundred thousand. Okay? CFUs per hour. Okay, so hopefully it gets really simple once you figure out how to figure the dilution, the final dilution out. Um, now as far as questions five and six, I'm not gonna go over them in detail because I think I'm gonna run out of videotape and you're probably sick of listening to me. But if you look at those, those dilutions on the plate are the final dilutions, okay? It says 10 to the negative fourth plate had 321 colonies on it. That is the final dilution. However, this plate is not countable, okay? So you could cross that one right off, okay? So you would not use that plate. This is for question number five. The first plate, it's not countable. It's too numerous to count. Get rid of it. Okay, so you're only concerned with the next two plates. So you have a 10 to the negative 6 plate at 169 columns. Try to go over that quick. Hopefully my tape has been quick by right now. Okay, so this is question number five. I've already said you throw out the first plate because it had 321 columns on it. The next plate has, is a 10 to the negative 6 plate. Okay, and it had 169 colonies on it. Okay, so that is a countable plate. Okay, so what do you do? You figure out what this dilution is. This is the final dilution because it's on the plate. Okay, so this dilution is your final dilution. Okay, so what you're going to do is figure out what that dilution is. What it is is one in a million. Okay, so if you multiply this times a million, okay, you're going to get 169 million for that plate. Okay, however, there is another countable plate. Okay, so you have to figure that one out. The 10 to the negative eighth plate. And it 
has 85. Okay, we have to figure out what we're multiplying that by. Okay, so it's a 10 to the negative 8 on the plate. That's your final solution. Okay, so you're going to be, it's going to be 1n, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1 in 100 million. Or, yeah, yeah, 100 million. Yeah, these numbers get hard to read. Okay, 100 million. Okay, so that's going to equal 8, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 billion, 500 million. Okay? So you're going to take this number, 8 billion, my pen there or not now, add it to this number, and then divide by 2 because you have two plates and you're going to average them. Okay? So hopefully I did this right because what it should come out to is I only have this memorized because they graded a lot of papers. Okay, so it's a really big number with lots of zeros. Okay, so you take the countable plates. Okay, the countable plates. That means plate number one was not countable. It had 321 counties on it. You take countable plates, you figure out what the CF per mil is in each of those plates, add them together, and then average it. So if you had two countable plates, you're going to divide by two. If you had three countable plates, you'd be dividing by three. Okay, for example. Alright, so that is number five. Number six. I'm not going to go over as, as much, but I am going to point out that the third plate only has 28 counties on it. So you cannot count that plate. Okay, that plate gets thrown out. So from there, you should be able to follow what I did here to solve that problem also. Um, the number for that plate. Just so you know what the answer is, if you're trying to figure it out, is 6, 0, 7, 0, 0, 0, 0. CF used per mil. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, I am going to be putting another assignment on so that you can make up some of the points you lost if you lost a lot of points. Um, if you didn't, then you're actually going to end up with some extra credit points. Um, this is late on Friday already, because I'm trying to get this up for you guys. So probably that won't be up until tomorrow. I intended to do it tonight, but obviously it's going to get a little bit late for me to be writing something. So that will be up tomorrow, and I will give you a few days to do it. That will allow you to make back points if you lost them on the assignment because you were confused about the math. Um, or if you weren't confused about the math, um, then you will be able to actually gain some extra credit points. So, I hope this helped.